I don't come from a food making background, but I come from a food eating background. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, I mean, I grew up, I mean, art is more my background. I guess broadcasting art, a whole lot of different things. But I've always eaten quite nice, exotic food. My mum's an amazing cook, so even when I was young, I was used to herbs and spices and nice food. So it's, um, the transaction, it's just been good for me. It's just more food. <laughs> <laughs> But you <laughs> um, um, no, not a food background at all, which is kind of funny. Coming to New Zealand eight years ago, and I, I think the produce and quality of food here is amazing. And then when we bought our house here, and we planted our veggie patch, I don't know, the penny dropped, and I started cooking and just loved it and found I was quite good at it. <laughs> so it started from there. Hi, I'm Otis, and this is Sarah, and we're from the Lucky Taco. And today we're going to make you a spicy chorizo and fried egg torta with spicy avocado cream, queso fresco and chipotle fried onions. Oh yeah baby, <laughs> I like that bit. <laughs> the idea came from, it's a similar filling to one of our Sunday brunch tacos which is spicy chorizo and egg with the cabbage and the pico de gallo but this is more of a, yeah, the torta is a traditional Mexican sandwich that's really nice with the fried onions, the chipotle fried onions. So yeah, it came from that, a little bit of a spin on the taco. We're gonna scoop out some of the bread to fill more yummy stuff in. Mojo de ajo, gravy of garlic. Roasted garlics, kind of slightly bashed a bit, even though all the garlic's gone out of this one. But lots of chili flakes, lemon zest, lots of salt, about a cup of citrus to it. You could brush it onto a turd and it would taste awesome. <laughs> you fry the onions with generous splash of Lucky Taco. <laughs> Probably hot, hot sauce. sauce. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have a big array of Mexican hot sauces on the shelf and we just got a vibe for what people liked and then people were like, well, why don't you just make your own? You know, why don't you guys make some? So then we started doing really small runs here and it went from there. We just get this straight chorizo. You sort of squash it into sort of like a hamburger patty and then fry it till it's crispy and just break it up a little bit. Yeah. That's pretty rocking. The kind of catalyst for the, the Lucky Taco was in the States, in LA. I just couldn't really believe all of these creative eateries I was seeing. I was like, wow, you know, this anyone can do it. It sort of enables ordinary people to get out there and share the food with people. But also Mexican food in general, like everywhere we went, someone had a really good Mexican just around the corner. We come home and it's like, let's go for Mexican. It's like, oh, we can't, because there's nowhere <laughs> awesome just around the corner to go. Meat on egg, yeah. ready? I mean, the egg might kind of start to set a bit now, but still important stage. Never waste that meat juice. <laughs> I'm not, I'm serious, I'm serious. We're not really super focused on the ultimate plan. We know the end game mm. and we know where we're at. We're just sort of making our way there. Well, nothing really ever changes. The, the reason we started doing this is because we wanted to share our flavors. That's basically it, because we didn't think there was anything else like it. And that can evolve from a truck to sauce, to taco kits, to ice blocks. You know, if, we, if we're making something that people eat, it's gonna be yummy. Oh, stop it. Oh, I'm so <laughs> freaking happy right now. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, it's on your nose. <laughs> yeah. Tortoise, tortoise success. I can't wait to see that oozy egg on film. <laughs> 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 Too rude for TV. 